Uh oh, something's broken. Hello YouTube and good day to all of you. We have ourselves right here a 2012 Jaguar XF base model and the customer states uh, it does not start. Let's push button start. Let's uh let's power it up and see what's going on here. Hmm, it's not doing much. This car has approximately 1.585 times 10 to the negative eighth light years on the odometer and it does not seem to want to crank yeah i just got a click out of it let's check the electron supply i think it might be in the trunk but we'll check under the hood first okay moving around to open the bonnet i do not see a battery in here unless it's under this little guy let's uh no, that's not a battery. Okay, it's got to be. Oh, no. I see it. Don't worry. I'll fetch it. Battery has to be in the trunk. Let's open up the trunk and see if it's in there. Good. We had enough electrons to open the trunk. And there is our battery. Hmm, 8 of 21. It's a fairly newish battery. Okay, let's go get some auxiliary electrons and uh, see if we can't get this car to start. Now, that's luxury. Okay, jumper box. Let's get this thing connected. Come here. I speculate someone has tried to jump start this already. Because this was flipped up and I see some fresh uh, scratches on that terminal. Powering that up. Okay, it's low for sure. We went straight to the, the red. That means it's not any good. Let's go back inside the cabin and see if she starts. I bet, yes. Hmm. Not doing anything. All right, let's go fetch a meter and see if this thing has power at all. Let's see, there we go. And with the jump box now connected, we are still at 11.8 volts. I, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe it doesn't want to crank with 11 volts. Let's try it again and we'll, uh, Utilize some authority on the button here. It powers up. I heard it click once, but it's not, it's not wanting to do anything. Ignition on, yeah, I know it's on. Start. Low battery, turn engine on or entertainment. Hang on, it said something over here. It gave me, it told me what was wrong because it's fancy. Uh, no, I want that message. Give it back to me. Let's try again. Powering on. Let's see. Keep in mind, I have absolutely no faith. Please turn engine on or entertainment system will shut down in three minutes. Okay, it's got no battery power and our jump box is a piece of crap. Um, let me go get a real power supply and we're gonna try this again. I just so happen to have a real jump box here and it's powered by a v8 turbo diesel because overkill and when i say overkill i mean overkill don't scratch my paint there we go now the proper and safe way to do this is to not connect the red ones and the black ones together. Duramax! So, we'll set the negative ones up first, and we'll set the positives up. Okay, there's negative. The other positive at the truck is sitting on top of the coolant tank, so that one's good. We'll hook up this positive right now. And next positive in the truck. Eat your heart out, triple A. Yeah, the electrons are flowing. Let's go take a look and see if the alternator is alternating. Uh, I can't tell. I can't see anything. No one knows. 
hopefully this has enough power to get itself into the shop. Disconnecting safely. I'll have this and I will have this back please. My truck can wait. Let's get this thing into the shop before it dies. Cause then I'll have to start all over. Reverse. Maybe it is charging, but we're gonna get inside of the building and out of the sunlight. Cause it's hot, 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 hot. Okay, I've got some warning showing up. Yeah, voltage is, whoa, what did it do? It threw itself into park. And now it's stuck in park. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Maybe it's mad because the hood is open. Let's go try to close the hood. Dang. Oh yeah, it's locking out a gear. Gearbox fault on the dash. I don't know, this thing might be beyond my scope of uh, ability to repair. Something's uh, really fishy here. Let's try it now. Gearbox fault, that's not cool. No way. I'm going to shut it down and repower it. And we're back to where we started. Okay, I'm getting the jumper cables back out. Cables are connected again. Let's uh, see if it starts. Okay, it is starting now. Let's, uh, let's see if the brake turns off. All right, brake's off. Let's try to move this thing again and see what it does. Did I ever mention that I dislike Europeans and uh, exotics. And it's thrown itself into park again. This is, this is getting bad. Come on. This is really bad. All right, I'm gonna shut it down, try again. And it's not gonna start try again we're hooked up one more time this is funny these people over here in this parking lot trying to cut through and they think I'm going somewhere wrong gearbox fault there it is again let's shut it down try to restart hmm okay it's not giving me a warning message now Let's try neutral and we'll push it. Yeah, that might work. Close the door, boy. Hey, push. Let's push it. It's in neutral? It's in neutral now, yeah. We're using manpower today. Come on, guys. Yeah, we're gonna make this thing freaking move. Go faster! At least I got power steering. Hey, yeah, yeah. Into the shop we go. I am so hot from doing all this out in the sunlight. Thanks, fellas. All right, now I need to move my truck. Okay, last time. Durant. Now that this high class automotive chariot is in the building, I'm gonna get a charger on that battery and see if the battery's any good. And then we'll work out the rest of the stuff from there. Powering on. Yeah, look at that, six volts. Things junk. Uh, let's select uh, 40 amps and just get the, get the ball rolling here. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Reconditioning, that's a bad sign. All right, let's, uh, let's give this 15, 20 minutes and see what okay. it does. So here's the deal. This thing is taking way too long to do anything. So I'm just gonna toss in a known good battery so I can at least see if 
I have a battery problem, charging system problem, or some other kind of problem. I need to know fast because I'm about to go home. The sun is long. It's the end of the day. I'm hot and tired and my coffee has worn off. I'm out. I suspect that this battery is still okay, but I don't have time for this thing to charge, so it's coming out. Come on. Because I work out. Me. Okay, let's go see if we have warning messages now. Got to make sure the trunk's closed for safety. Okay, Jaguar. Gearbox fault. Mm-hmm. Check engine light. Apply foot to brake pedal to shift. Well, if this is gearbox fault, then uh, this is definitely going to dealership land because I do not have the qualifications uh, nor the tooling to service this piece of equipment. But at least it says it doesn't have a charging system message. Let's go back to that battery and uh, check voltage just to make sure we're above 12 volts and that the alternator is in fact <laughs> alternating. Okay, we're back at this familiar view. We've got the meter metering. Let's see what we have for voltage. We're looking like 11.95 volts. Okay, so we do not have an alternator that is alternating. That's not good. Yeah, I wanna see 13.5 minimum. 14.4, uh, 14.3 would be optimal. Now let's just check it again one more time. And yeah, it says 11.96, so that's just nominal battery voltage odd that it's not giving me that charging system message on the dash right now it does have a check engine light turned on so let's uh i busted out the scan tool let's go in there and see what these trouble codes are going to tell us I'm trying to get a big picture painted here so i can make a decision on what we're gonna what we're gonna do here um it also seems to be misfiring you see the the tack right there how it, the tack is bouncing and the whole car is kind of shaking left and right so I, I don't really know what's going on because all they did was ask me to check the battery, go figure. But I have to employ some uh, some strategy here to determine what the problem is going to be. Trouble codes. <laughs> yeah, I got a check engine light on and no trouble codes. This is getting good. All right, uh, let's do a full system code scan. No, I haven't done anything. This thing is now gonna run through and ping every single module looking for stored trouble codes. And there we go, unstable voltage, loss of communication, LIN bus A, LIN bus A. All right, invalid data. This is not looking very good. Yeah, this is full of U codes, body control module codes. Uh, more U codes. U codes are indicating a communication failure between modules. I understand that voltage was low and comms will be lost with a low voltage condition. And I'm sure that most of these are caused from that. And missing key. Uh, yeah, I, I, I actually. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I, I do not think that I possess the knowledge, skills, or training 
to diagnose these issues on this car. I kind of don't know which one of these to, to go after first. I, I do know that it's not charging, but I'm not gonna go, hey, put an alternator in it and that'll fix it because if the ECM is not commanding the alternator to turn on, then of course the alternator will not produce voltage. Okay. Yeah, the list just keeps going on and on and on. Yeah, the list of these trouble codes just keeps going on and on and on for days. It's, it's not stopping. Every module is just loaded full. And it, it appears to only be 76% complete with its code scan. Uh, okay. I'm reluctant to really do anything with this car. I'm not gonna clear these trouble codes because that actually might screw over the next guy because they won't have any information to go off of. But I am gonna try to power this down and restart. Perhaps we'll get a change in uh, behavior after a restart. No, it's still, it's still, uh, it's still camming. <laughs> I still have that warning message for the gearbox. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, sorry guys to disappoint, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision to turn this job away, or at least uh, state the fact that I am not qualified and do not possess the skills, training, or knowledge to uh, begin working on this car with the exception of uh, uh, loading the parts cannon, which I don't wanna do with a Jaguar. So I'm going to recommend that they take this vehicle to the uh, local Jaguar specialist at the Jaguar dealership and uh, let those fellas sort this one out because this is uh, this is just not my forte and uh, I want to do the right thing by the customer here. Ha! Huh. That answer went about as poorly as could be expected. Uh, my response was moderately unacceptable and uh, they wanted me to tell them what I think it is and I said I think that I do not possess the knowledge skills tooling or training to diagnose this properly at which point they asked me what I think it is and I said I think this is a job for the dealership and I'm not interested in working on it because it would be doing my customer a disservice and that they would be better served at the dealership <sighs> But fortunately, once I stood firm in my position, uh, everybody saw the light and uh, we decided that it, they would be better off at the Jaguar dealership. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and take my battery back and uh, put their battery back in and we're gonna let the Jaguar folks deal with this one because this, uh, this is their forte and not mine. One of the hardest things for a young techni technician to do is say, I don't know. And in this situation, I know enough to know better, and I don't know. Don't know where to start, but I know where to end. And it's gonna end back up on the tow truck and headed down the road. And I'm doing this free of charge. These folks are already inconvenienced as it is. And I don't need to collect any money from them for services that I did not provide. And some would argue, yes, you, you put your time into it and you did provide a service, but at the same time, I feel that I didn't because their car is here and I'm not the guy fixing it. Therefore, I don't feel that I should be compensated. Again, right thing to do. So I do believe this is a first ever on the channel of me not fixing a car. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me not fix this car. And if you did enjoy watching me not fix this car, all I would ask of you is that you tappy tap that thumbs up like button to let the YouTube algorithm know that I have done a good job here. Those like buttons are what YouTube uses to suggest my content to other viewers. And if you think I did a good job, I would like other people to think the same thing. Regardless of how you felt about this video, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And of course, I'd like to remind all of you here to not forget to have a great day. That's not gonna close. See you guys in the next one. 
See you later, Jaguar.